and a very warm welcome to Science Samvad. This is your monthly update on what is happening in the field of science, technology, research and innovation. As your host for this episode, I, Virayan, extend heartfelt wishes to all the scientists, innovators and science enthusiasts as we celebrate National Science Day today. Today, India is celebrating its 37th National Science Day, commemorating the discovery of the Raman Effect by Sir C. V. Raman. The theme for this year's celebration is Indigenous Technology for Avixit Bharat. Aligned with the theme of this year's National Science Day, the inaugural episode of Science Samvad is dedicated to championing the breakthroughs in indigenous technologies for the advancement of a developed India. In this episode of Science Samvad, we are excited to present a wealth of content ranging from the achievements of Chandrayaan-1, Aditya L1 and Insat 3DS to India's advancements in realizing the technology vision 2020 and 2035. What will propel us towards achieving the national ambition of a developed India by 2047? What are we doing right and what more do we need to do? What are the objectives for designing India's future? To obtain the pertinent answers to these questions, we must delve into the visioning exercises conducted in the past. Let's look at this report. Envision an India with the capability to produce energy akin to the sun's power, a capacity thousands of times superior to today's computers will exist. A swifter computing system will be available to every Indian. Security and prosperity will be guaranteed for all the citizens, each possessing their unique identity, transforming all these aspirations into really begin long ago. However, a glimpse of this transformation was witnessed on January 3rd, 2016, when Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi released the Technology Vision 2035 document. In this report, compiled by the organization TIFAC, a vision of the prosperous India was envisioned, where technology will play a pivotal role. The explicit aim of Technology Vision 2020 was to provide directions for national initiatives in science and technology to make India a developed country by 2020. To discern India's requirements by 2035, whether in security, prosperity or identity relims the technology vision 2035 document, delineated a vision statement, the technology in the service of India, ensuring the security, enhancing prosperity and strengthening the identity of every Indian. A vision by itself would not serve any purpose unless appropriate actions are outlined and acted upon. To realize the bigger objectives. Based on the depth, the analysis and discussion during the scoping phase of the exercise, 12 sectors were identified for the sharper focus. Education, medical sciences and healthcare, food and agriculture, water, energy, environment, habitats, transportation, infrastructure, manufacturing, materials and information and communication technology. India has undoubtedly come a long way since 1998. Its economic size, scientific achievements and infrastructural development stand as testaments to the nation's progress. However, the journey towards a fully developed and inclusive India as envisioned by Dr. Kalam remains incomplete. To realize our collective dream of making India a developed nation, we all need have our head in the clouds but our feet firmly planted on the ground. This is Samiksha Jain reporting for DYPIU Science Samwad. Let's explore India's space and satellite technologies that facilitate development in all its dimensions and enhance human capabilities. On August 23rd, 2023, Chandrayaan 3 made history by landing on the moon's unexplored south pole, marking India's reassurance in lunar exploration after Chandrayaan 2 set back in 2019. Equipped with advanced scientific infrastructure, Chandrayaan 3 aims to study the lunar surface, map water ice deposits and investigate moon's internal composition, addressing key questions for the future exploration. And the success didn't stop here. Just two weeks later, on September 7th, 2023, ISRO launched Aditya L1, a spacecraft dedicated to unveiling the secrets of the sun, positioned strategically to observe the sun's corona continuously. Aditya L1 carries seven payloads designed to study solar activities, solar winds and solar flares. These missions showcase not only technological advancement, but the dedication of thousands of scientists, engineers and technicians at ISRO. 
In the grand scheme, both Chandrayaan 3 and Aditya L1 elevate India's global standing, attracting attention and collaboration. Beyond that, they inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers, potentially leading to economic benefit to the growth of space program in India. But hold on to your seats because we have some exciting news coming your way. On February 17, 2024, India achieved another historical milestone with the flawless launch of INSAT 3DS, an advanced weather satellite. This state-of-the-art satellite is set to revolutionize weather observation and forecasting capabilities safeguarding lives and infrastructure. India's space journey continues to dazzle the world. This is Aditya Aya reporting for DYPIU Science Samvad. Moving on to a slightly different type of rocket, let's delve into how our missile technology is contributing to India's self-reliance. The dedication to self-reliance in defense extends beyond missile systems. The Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative spans various sectors, nurturing indigenous development and diminishing reliance on imports. Crafted by DRDO and manufactured by Bharat Dynamics Limited, Akash stands as a testament to India's commitment to defense autonomy. What sets Akash apart from its predecessors is its exceptional versatility and efficacy, demonstrated in engaging four targets simultaneously. First and foremost, Akash's versatility sets it apart. Unlike its predecessors, Akash is designed to engage multiple targets simultaneously, providing a level of flexibility that is crucial in addressing the complex and dynamic nature of modern operational scenarios. In terms of range and precision, Akash strikes a balance that meets diverse defense needs. With the 45 km range, it offers adaptability and effectiveness, positioning itself as a reliable and versatile solution. Moreover, the future iterations of Akash are poised to transcend its current range, promising enhanced precision in targeting. Future enhancements include precision-guided technologies, potential integration of artificial intelligence and advancements in hypersonic technology and quantum computing. These features position Akash at the forefront of missile defense capabilities, marking a substantial leap beyond its predecessors. The Akash missile system doesn't just represent an evolution, it signifies a revolution in India's missile technology. Its dominance over over previous systems lies not only in its proven capabilities but also in its potential for future advancements, making a cornerstone in India's journey towards self-reliance and technological excellence. This is Karthik Sundaram reporting for DYPAO Science Samvad. Thank you. As India marches towards agricultural self-sufficiency, the role of AI continues to evolve, promising a future where technology drives prosperity and resilience in the farming community. Let's delve into how India is applying AI in the agricultural sector. In a resolute commitment to harness the potential of artificial intelligence, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced the launch of an AI mission with a specific focus on revolutionizing the agricultural sector. This mission, unveiled during the GPI Summit 2023, building upon India's earlier governmental efforts, including national AI strategy, aimed at positioning the nation as the global leader in AI research and development. At its core, the mission seeks to establish combust AI computing power tailored to address the unique challenges and opportunities in agriculture and fostering an environment for innovation and startups to flourish in agricultural technology. Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav highlighted India's vision of leveraging AI for inclusive growth in agriculture, emphasizing application in precision farming and crop monitoring and resource optimization. Minister of State for Electronics and Information Technology Rajiv Chandrasekhar underscored the importance of transparent and unbiased algorithm in AI model to optimize resources, use and ensure the sustainable agriculture practice. Prime Minister Modi echoes this sentiment, emphasizing AI pivotal role in addressing challenges faced by Indian farmers such as predicting crop diseases, optimizing irrigation, enhancing overall farm productivity. With India aim for their relevance in agriculture, responsibilities and ethical AI practice will be instrumental in realizing the vision. Farmers can use AI-powered crop monitoring system. Farmer will receive a real-time data about the soil condition, weather forecast, and pest control directly to his smartphone. This enables him to make informative decisions about irrigation schedule, 
pesticide application and crop management practices ultimately leading to higher yield reduced input cost this has been a significant step forward in india's technological aspiration significantly a new era of innovation progress in agricultural sector this is nitin ja reporting from duipiu science samvad as we wrap up this episode of science samvad we hope to have demonstrated the advances india has made in the use of indigenous technology as we become a more vikasit bharat every day that's all for this episode of science samvad do tell us your opinions and thoughts on this episode you can also send us your feedback and suggestions on our email our email id is science.samvad@dypiu.ac.in we will be back with fresh new stories again next month till then stay tuned and think scientifically